Hello, hello and welcome to Glitch Tech X. Time for another news video. This just in. The AMD Ryzen 7 4700GE benchmarks have surfaced. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPUs get a performance boost in Death Stranding. The ASUS GeForce RTX 3080 Ti card has been pictured. Talking about our first news item, the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G Renault APU has been pictured and benchmarks have surfaced. The 8-core 16-thread APU has been tested with the DDR4 4333MHz stim. The Renault chips have 7nm Zen 2 CPU and bigger GPU cores. The chip has been pictured courtesy of TechLab and it seems to be an engineering sample. The 4700GE features 8 cores and 16 threads. The CPU comes with 4MB of L2 and 8MB of L3 cache which is due to the monolithic design that the Renault APUs feature compared to the chiplet design on the standard Zen 2 based CPUs. The CPU is supposed to feature clock speeds of 3.1 GHz base and 4.35 GHz boost, but the engineering sample chip runs at 3 GHz base and 4 GHz boost clocks. The APU also comes with Vega 8 graphics which is equal in to 512 stream processors operating at 2000 MHz speeds. The Ryzen 7 4700GE is a low power part with a TDP of 35 watts. Coming to the benchmarks again courtesy of TechLab, we see that the CPU seems to be overclocked to 4.3 GHz on all the cores, paired with two sticks of 8 GB DDR4 4333 memory with CL14 timings on an ASUS ROG Strix B550E gaming motherboard. In raw performance numbers, the IDA64 tests show a latency of 49.1 nanoseconds and 47.6 nanoseconds in another test conducted by Test Lab where the CPU was overclocked to 4.35 GHz. I would have to say that this is massive. The performance numbers are mind blowing. Moving on, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPUs get a performance boost in Death Stranding using DLSS 2.0. NVIDIA has announced that Kojima Productions will be adding support for DLSS 2.0 in the PC release of the game. This is huge for NVIDIA as DLSS 2.0 will bring significant performance gains and better image quality. The tensor cores on the RTX cards seem to be doing their job leveraging AI processing that accelerates gaming performance with DLSS. The game was tested using multiple RTX cards from entry level to the top of the line, the 2080 Ti. In a nutshell, we see a gain of 60 plus frames per second for the entry level RTX cards and around 100 plus frames per second for the 2080 Ti. The RTX 2080 Ti sees a massive 40% improvement and delivers 105.5 frames per second with all in-game settings maxed out at 4K resolution, which is super impressive. Even the entry-level GeForce RTX 2060 delivers a huge performance gain of up to 47% and delivers a smooth 60.1 frames per second on average. At 1440p, you can very well get up to 144 frames per second at max settings with the 2080 Ti and the 2080 Super, leading to a gain of around 28%. The rest of the cards deliver over 100 plus frames per second, with a performance gain of around 37% for the RTX 2060. At 1080p resolution, you can expect the average FPS hovering around 140 frames per second with all the RTX cards and almost 200 frames per second with the 2080 Ti. In addition to the gains in performance and FPS numbers, the image quality has also increased significantly. I'll keep quiet while you bask in the glory of the image details. Well, my GPU had a tough time in even displaying the JPEG images, let alone play the game. This is some pretty impressive sh. Okay, moving on. While we're still on the topic of NVIDIA RTX cards, the ASUS GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics card has been pictured. 
the upcoming GeForce RTX 30 series graphics card from the green team based on the Ampere GPU architecture are no mystery. This leak has been brought to light by video cards. It seems that Nvidia's board partners are busy readying their custom designs for the RTX 30 series cards and one such card, the Asus ROG Strix GeForce RTX 3080 Ti has been leaked. It is reported that the custom design was showcased during an internal Asus presentation so there might be changes between now and the time the card is released. Please bear in mind that this is a leak and nothing is set in stone as of now. Well, that's it for today's video. We're witnessing a lot of action-packed releases, leaks and benchmarks. What are your thoughts about AMD's next-gen Renault APUs? I think Death Stranding with DLSS would look amazing. What do you think? With the advent of RTX 30 series cards, we might see a whole new era of higher performance, efficient processing and stunning visuals ushering in. What do you think about the impact the green team is making? Let's discuss this in the comments section below. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos around PC hardware, PC tech discussions, gaming videos and a lot more is in store. Do subscribe, click the bell icon and stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.